Hey guys, my name's Anya and I'm a high schooler here at Bethel. Today we're taking a look at John 17, 20 through 26, in which Jesus prays to his Father, expressing his hope and will to see present and future believers connected with both each other and Christ. Striving for spiritual wholeness and relational teamwork, Jesus calls us to a higher standard of living, one that prioritizes the bonds that have the potential to better us all. In this short but impactful section, Jesus makes his prayers of interdependence amongst his followers known. John 17, 20 and 21 ask, for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. While reading these verses, I notice how Jesus conveys the importance of connection to the church as a whole. In working toward harmony and cooperation with one another and the Lord, we advance Christ's mission strategy for evangelizing to the world. Utilizing the incredible diversity that we have from one another in combination with our firm foundation in the gospel, we push Jesus further into a dark world. Keeping our eyes on the forever King, asking for and responding to help from him, and seeking to follow the example that he set for us as believers can help us to focus on Christ and his mission. When we live to love others, we're able to forge pathways and ties in the most unlikely places. In contrast, isolation and unwillingness can lead to damage in our relationships with those who seek to know the Lord and, of course, the Lord himself, hurting the fruit of our mission call on earth. Truthfully, it's plenty easier to preach these things rather than living them out in our daily lives. Temptation and fear can keep us from reaching our goals of healing, and strength can be ever so difficult to find when surrounded by such discouragement. Jesus gives us hope for change in these verses, telling us the not-so-secret key to success. In Christ, we've been resourced with the very tool to move forward, which is nothing less than Jesus and his glory living in us. Facing the challenges with newfound motivation, we've been empowered to walk in faith with each other, shouting the splendor of the Lord. In my own life, I've been blessed with incredible role models and friends within the church who exemplify the values and commitment to be found in the Spirit. Bearing the weight together and with Christ, while supporting each other endlessly, we've overcome a few of the trials and tribulations dealt out over the years. Is there someone in your life that gives you strength and wisdom to carry on? Who in your life could use a helping hand? How would our lives and walk with the Lord further develop with increased effort for unity?